hey queens and kings welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching as well as returning so i have three dollar tree hollow glam diys for you guys if you guys would like to see how i recreated these items please continue to watch so for our very first diy we're going to need a skull which i already pre-painted it um, a glossy black as well as a matte black cute isn't it <laughs> So we're going to use this stencil brush as well as some scissors. Um, these jewels came from the Dollar Tree, no, Target Dollar Spot. This paint came from Walmart as well as the glitter and the paint was like 56 cent and the glitter was um, 88 cent. And we're also going to use Dollar Tree Red Roses, which the color is optional. And we're going to use our glue gun as well as glue stick. Now moving on, so what we're going to do is take our stencil brush here and we're going to pour some of the black paint on there and we're going to re-stencil in the area that we have the matte black paint that you already see. And I'm using the paint for a glue base as a glue, whatever. Then I'm just going to sprinkle my glitter all over the places where I just put that black paint at. And I'm putting glitter on here just to give another contrast. So this is how it looks. It's cute and everything. And we're going to pour the extra glitter back into the container. Now we're going to take our red roses and we're going to pluck them off the stem there. And we're going to cut that extra off the back of the rose. Um, because we wanted to try to lay it down as flat as possible. But don't cut too short because if you do, the flower will fall apart. Then next we'll take our glue and we're going to place a large amount of glue on the back and we're going to place that red rose right directly in front of the first red rose. So now it looks like we have a baby mohawk. How cute is that? So we're just going to continue those steps and place the uh, roses all the way around the top of the skull head. So once it's finished, it's something to look like this. But I like the way that this look is give me the Instagram halo look. How cute is that? But you can leave it like that. So I'm going to move on with my little bougie self. We're going to place the large amount of uh, bling directly in the front um, eye there, which that's basically what we're doing. And using a large amount of glue, don't burn yourself doing that. So that is how that look, which you can also leave it like this. But we're moving along. We are moving along. We're going to place some more of the bling in there. And basically, we'll just give it like a junk look. You know how the, the nails look with all the little bling just on top of bling, just bling overkill, basically. That's what I'm trying to do right here. So, this is how it turned out. I love the way that it looked. I love the way how the glitter look on it, how it sparkled when the lights hit it. I just love those roses on top of it. It's just so cute. Just a little chic. And I just have it placed on top of these Pick Your Poison books DIYs that I did last year. So I will be giving you guys a tour of my buffet pretty soon. And next for number two, we're going to use this faux mirror from the Dollar Tree as well as the blings. And we're going to use these letters that I also picked up from Dollar Tree and the red rose and this acetone on nail polish remover. Believe it or not, it came from the Dollar Tree. Um, our glue gun and glue stick. So we're going to take our acetone and pour it on uh, this napkin that I have here, which I forgot to mention that you're going to need something to pour the acetone on. So we're going to remove the skull head off the face of this mirror here. And be very careful if you do not want to move the details that's around the skull head because though that can actually be uh, removed also with the acetone. So you're going to continue doing this till you get a very clean look um, that you want or the desired look that you want, whatever your preference is. So this is how it look. And now we're just going to take our bling. Then we're going to take our hot glue gun and place um, a small amount of glue. And we're going to place a bling directly on top of that glue. So next I'm going to take my uh, rhinestone sheets that I did not mention and show you guys. But these also came from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use the black. I'm going to trace the black around that bling that I placed in the middle there. And just turn it in place. Turn it in place. Until I get the desired look I want. So which I was going for like a doorbell look. 
and now I'm just going to take my stickers and I'm just going to spell out whatever I desire to spell out which you can do the same and what I'm going to spell out is press for candy that's cute isn't it now we're going to take our rose and I'm just trying to get the idea look that I want but I really have it already in my head and I'm just going to place a large amount of glue on there so therefore we can stick this to the edge the rim or the trimming of the mirror whatever you like to call it just to give a little more detail a little more contrast and all that stuff there just to bring it up a notch so I'm just going to play with the stem um, until I give the desired look that I want in which the look is that I want the rose look like it coming from behind the mirror so this is how it looked, this is how it turned out. I love the way that it looked. And as you can see, I did two of those skulls. I could not just do one. Just super cute and everything. I love the way how this looked on my buffet. Like I said before, I'll be giving you guys a tour of that pretty soon. And this little skull here, he have a little diamond on his teeth, huh? Cute, cute, cute. So moving along with DIY number three. We're gonna use our Dollar Tree wine glass. And we're gonna use our matte black paint as well as our glitter and some paper. So I'm just gonna lean this glass over to the side and just squeeze some of the um, black paint down on it. Just a nice amount that you know that it will start to run in and everything like that. And we're just going to continue that all the way around the glass until I get the desired look that I want. Fill it in the spaces that just a little too empty for me. And we're going to use the back of our uh, stencil brush there and bring up some of the paint around the stem of the glass. And at this point, I like that look. So now I'm going to take my glitter and sprinkle it on the wet um, paint and you're going to let this dry overnight because once it all finished and done honey they are too cute so this is how they look this is how I look uh, which I did do four of them but I'll be showing you guys that pretty soon as well in my dining room tour so I love the way how these look on my table and if you guys are not are new to my channel you may well go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so therefore you don't miss out on any other videos that I upload and if you like this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as share and let's stay connected by following me on Instagram as well as Facebook thanks for watching bye